For this image, the background is well composed, but I'm going to immediately crop the image to remove some of the distractions. Let's go with a 4 by 5 and drag out the initial shape. That works well, and I'm going to lose this flower on the bottom. And in fact, let's just go a little tighter here, but rotate, and you see we can lose a bit of that flower on the right. What we're trying to do here is get it so we have good overall image composition, but remove some of the distracting intruders from the outside edges. All right, I like that. I'll press return, and that's coming across nicely. Back to the Basics tab here, we can do an auto exposure to get the initials down right, and then I'm going to play with the shadows. Note how that made it really easy to lift the flowers out of the background. A little clarity so they pop, and let's play with the highlights. Make sure you balance that out. Don't go too repressed. In fact, a little boost here may actually work a bit. I like where that's going. We'll bring up the vibrance, and that feels pretty good. Let's jump over to the Sharpening tab for a second and crank that up. Note what we're doing is really bringing out some of the details, but by Option or Alt dragging the masking slider, we could pull down. You'll note, actually, that there was a wire texture back there. A lot of times in garden centers, you have these meshes that are designed to protect the flowers. And if I sharpen too much, that's actually coming back through. So let's mask that a bit. And now the sharpening is more limited to the flower itself. That feels pretty good. I'm a sucker for a little vignette. I'm not going to overdo it on this one, though. And let's just go in here and make a few adjustments to the colors. We'll start with the luminance tab and lift the reds just a little bit. That really separated them nicely. While we're at it, let's pull down the blues and the aquas for the background and do the same thing to their saturation. Note, we can really boost that there to create a dramatically colored background or split the difference by boosting or pulling different areas. I see a little green back there too. I like that. I'm happy with the blues, but note it's very simple to roll the hue. So in this case, I'm rolling the aquas a little bit more towards the royal blue there, so it better matches the background. Clicking the before and after button, you get a nice side by side. You'll see by making some targeted adjustments, we were very easy able to pull out the details of the flower. This tab here can also be done in Lightroom with the Targeted Adjustment tool, which makes it easy to affect certain areas of a photo. Real simple image here. Let's get the composition right up front. I'll go to a one by one, and I want to focus on just some details of these flowers. That feels pretty good there. Just get the left edge there and the bottom of that one flower, and press return. Now, there's a lot going on with the background here, and it's difficult to completely narrow the focus. We'll do some basic exposures, and get it so it's about right, and use the highlights here to really pop certain areas. That feels good. I'm actually going to lift the shadows just slightly, and then jump on over to curves. I think a medium contrast helps a bit. Now, I like where this is going, but the color is actually a bit bright for my liking. So I'll pop the clarity for contrast, but reduce the vibrance. And you see by toning it down, it actually becomes a bit more elegant. Now the subtleties of the purple are coming through, and I like it. With that toned down, I can now boost the overall saturation, and you see that that did a much better job. This is a little trick with flowers. Sometimes you'll tone down parts of the flower with the vibrance slider and then restore the overall saturation here. What that does is a nice job if you look at the side by side. We still preserve the great color within the flowers, but we've brought out some of the areas where the whites and the grays were, giving better definition to the petals. All right, let's go back here to the normal. I'm pretty happy with this one. I'm just going to grab the elliptical radial filter here. And let's just go over our flowers. We'll set one right here on this top flower. Adjust the radius a little bit. That works pretty well. And I'm happy with that. Let's just adjust that and we'll change the shape just a bit. Less feathering. And we'll reset the exposure, the clarity, and the saturation. 
And what we're going to do is just a little bit of a boost, pulling up the saturation right there on that flower just slightly. Remember, this is just a more targeted adjustment. And so I can go around the shape of that flower and even rotate this if needed. I like that, and I could just drag that. I'll right click and choose Duplicate, and put that one down here on this flower. Right click again, Duplicate, and put that over here. And so we've made a few small adjustments to pop different areas. If we look at the side by side there, you see that by making selected adjustments to the tonality and the color, it's led to a better end result.